Hey YouTube world, this is Marvin with Better Way to Connect TV and I have for you guys a pretty interesting uh, device. It's a wireless TV tuner. It's from the makers of Antennas Direct. Um, the name of this device is called Clearstream TV. Um, now what this does is this is a wireless tuner. It connects to your, your, um, your high definition antenna and it turns your over the air TV signals into you can watch it over Wi-Fi it turns it into Wi-Fi and you can watch your over there channels um, through a streaming device or what have you um, using your Wi-Fi so this is a really really cool device um, would you let me let me show you the the uh, website where you can get it from uh, it's antennas direct let me see here pull it up for you okay so it's antennasdirect.com okay and at the time of this review this unboxing and review let me pull it up for you guys here um, it is ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cent on their on their website okay so it's called clearstream tv okay ot air wi-fi digital tuner so yeah this is a really really cool device I, when i saw this i was like man i got i gotta check this out and see you know see what's going on um, so it's it's really simple in design. So let's go let's go ahead with the um, unboxing. Uh, this antennasdirect.com. There you go. So visit those guys out. Go to their website. It's a really good company. I've used their um, antennas a lot of times in my installs. They're very very good antennas. So definitely, if you want a good antenna for your home, I definitely say visit antennasdirect.com. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, get with the unboxing and review. Okay, yeah, so it works with, um, you got streaming devices, it, work, it will work on your smartphone, it will work on your tablet, it'll work on your TV. Um, well, it doesn't, it doesn't connect directly to your television. Um, it connects through, um, you're using a Roku device. If you have a Fire TV stick, um, their application is good for iOS and Android. So definitely massive, you know, this is, this is a, a really, really nice device right here. So let's go ahead and uh, look, go and uh, unbox it here. Um, really simple design, let me take it out for you. Uh, so that's the device right there. And then what else is in the box? You get the power brick, okay. And then you get uh, an instruction manual, okay. So. That's it as far as in the box. So let's go ahead and file this off to the side here. And I'm gonna open this up. Let you guys get a clear view of this. Okay, so. Yeah, it's a really nice design, real thin. Go ahead and take that off. Clear stream TV. So, Okay, on this side, you only have just a um, an RF connector on this side right here, a barrel connector, and then on the back side is just for the power. And so the power brick is just a basic, simple power brick. So you're not you're not losing, you're not going to be using a lot of electricity with this thing here. So it's real simple. So right here it tells you, uh, well, basically you connect your antenna to this part right here. Now this device, again, this device does not connect directly to the TV. It works through your Wi-Fi in your home, okay? So it, it converts your over-the-air channels, your, D, your TV channels into Wi-Fi. Uh, and then this allows you to watch it uh, anywhere in the house, okay? So your power goes here. Antenna on that side, and that's it. And then you set it up through the application. Real simple. Okay. Uh, unboxing, and not much to it. Uh, and then you got your user user manual right here. Um, Clearstream TV. So the next uh, next part is I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and plug it up, and then um, we'll just run through the uh, the application and see if we can watch over there TV. Okay. Okay, but okay, guys, I'm back. I have this set up here. Um, so just to give you a little information about what's going on, um, 
Now on the directions, when you get this device, on the directions it says connect directly to your antenna. Um, I have this connected to my home outlet right here on the wall, the wall outlet. Now I I install antennas for a living, okay. And so what I've already pre-done is I I've already um, for a lot of you who've been coming to my channel, you already know that I have my antenna installed in the attic. And so in turn, what I've done was I've wired the entire house for over the air TV. So any outlet in my home is connected to the one big antenna that I have in my attic. Now this is just uh, an extension of that. So I have the Clearstream TV here that's um, connected directly to the wall. One simple connection, as you can see right here. I'm using an, R an RG6 um, uh, cable, so I don't want to. I don't want to cut off any of that signal. RG59 is a thinner cable, and it and it, and it cuts off a, uh, a good portion of the signal. So I'm using RG6, so I get all the signal that I'm supposed to be getting. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and add power to this, and then we're gonna see the lights light up, and I'll walk you guys through. Uh, the setup on the application. Uh, that's the next step. So when you connect power to this, uh, you watch the lights blink and then you connect it to, uh, you um, download the application and then you run through the steps. Real fair, a fairly easy process. But just, you know, just so I don't confuse anybody, you know, like once you, once you buy this device that you'll see the direction say connected directly to the antenna. Um, I have done that, but it, like I said, it's just a wall outlet, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and if I can, I'm gonna put this down here and then we're gonna add power to it. I'm gonna show you guys what the lights look like. Okay, um, this is, um, when you add power to it, this is what it looks like. You got the blinking light right here and we're supposed to wait till it turns green, okay? We're gonna wait until it turns green um, and then we're going to go ahead and go through the setup process. Green light. Shouldn't take too long. I've done this before, so it should only take a couple seconds for it to just turn green. You're going to have one solid green light shining on here. And that takes a little while. There we go. All right. And so now we're going to go ahead to the application setup. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm at the, uh, this is my Android app. I got a Samsung tablet right here. Uh, and so what I've done is I've gone to the uh, Android Play Store and I found the Clearstream app. Okay. So Clearstream TV over the air digital tuner. So I went ahead and downloaded it. I'm going to go ahead and open it now and uh, see if we can walk through these uh, easy setup instructions here. So it says uh, it's the, there's no device found so let me go to settings and then we're gonna just um, okay so it says it says it's found a device already okay cool so let's go ahead and uh, now I, I went ahead and, and actually uh, set up the uh, tuner before so maybe uh, this is just how easy it is it's a scan for channels right here okay so I'm going to scan for channels. Um, I think this takes a little while. I remember the last time I scanned for channels, it took a little while. So I'll just uh, do a little pause and then come back when it's completely done. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, let me go back and open the app again. Um, so yeah, it finished scanning. I found 149 channels. Let me see if I can show you that right quick. Quick like with it, 149 channels. Uh, that's what it found. And so I'm just going to go ahead and click live TV and we'll go with uh, channel two, which is CVS for me. Um, I'm going to turn the, the volume down here uh, and there it is. Okay. So this is live over the air TV off the Clearstream TV tuner. It's converted it to Wi-Fi and now I can use my, my home network to watch over the air TV. Now it works with um, iOS as well, okay? So if I want to change the channels, all I have to do is just swipe. And uh, you just give it, just give it a second or so and the channel will come up, okay? And that's it right there. Um, 
and just to prove to you there is a volume here let me go ahead and just there you go there's no volume there so we don't want to get it flagged on YouTube and let's go to the uh, uh, there there is a football this football game tonight here uh, this is uh, NBC okay and guys I don't know if you can I don't know if this camera is doing it justice um, I, I have a uh, this tablet is a 1080p screen and uh, I'm telling you the picture is crystal clear uh, hopefully you can see some of this coming through on the video it is crystal clear um, as far as the quality um, can't go wrong with this one guys cannot go wrong um, let me show you uh, this is a uh, murder she wrote here uh, NBC and I'll just go here uh, this is our CW right here uh, so I mean I, I I can't complain about this whatsoever uh, you can also pause TV uh, now how cool is that you can pause live TV on your Android device we will go ahead and play and let's go ahead and hit um, the guide um, let's see how to bring up the guy. There we go. And here is the television guy. Okay. And some of it, as you can see, some of it haven't filled in, but um, it's going to go ahead and, and fill in these these uh, spaces too. Um, and let me see if I can hit some of them. Uh, yeah, some of them um, before. Okay, so I just re I just set this up, and so a lot of them. Um, are not in just yet but the thing is I set this up before and all of this was all completely filled in so you give it about an hour or two once you buy yours and you set it up you give it about an hour or two and all of your information will fill in from the guide okay um, and it's a very very nice guide you can look around um, and so let's see what yeah so that's the NFL football game, uh, stuff like that. And you can just and if it's if it's watchable, you'll see a little little TV right here that pop up, and you can go ahead and hit that, and it'll go right back into that channel. Okay, so just give it a few seconds, and boom, we're back at live TV again. Okay, so this is Android, and don't want to leave iOS out. Um, so here is my iPad and went to the App Store, the Apple App Store, downloaded. This is what the that's what the uh, the app looked like. It looks the same as uh, as on Android. Uh, and then um, the channels here. Let's go to the channel. Now um, I don't have the latest uh, iPad. This is a generation two, second generation iPad. And so we're looking at 720p, but still it's uh, crystal clear quality here. Let me go ahead and turn it down for you guys. Um, no problems here. And uh, we can swipe over. Just give it a few seconds and you're back at live TV. Now this device is, it's an awesome device. It, it is pr definitely perfect for uh, if you have a room that um, you know you you want to put um, just a streaming device in, like a Roku device, uh, with this tuner you can turn your Roku into um, a a um, makeshift cable box. You know, um, and so this device will you can add that channel onto your Roku, and you can watch your over-the-air channels through your Roku device. Okay, and I'll show you. Um, what that looks like too. I'll give you a glimpse of that on mines. Um, but yeah, this is what we have it. Now, when I first set this up, this is a very strong device. When I first set this up, my my router, my Wi-Fi router is on my second floor. Okay, it's upstairs in the, in the closet. And down here where I, where I showed you where I connected it, it's about a good, I want to say, I definitely over 50 feet. I definitely say it's over 50 feet. And so um, it still it worked very very well, but it worked better beside the router. So I would say definitely if you can get you can place this device uh, place this device as close 
as close to your router as possible okay guys and uh, yeah but it, as you can see it works just fine um, CW right here um, they're just fine so if you guys are gonna um, if you're gonna be watching um, uh, just just a couple tips uh, close the uh, play um geez I can't even talk <laughs> place the tuner close to the uh, router close to your Wi-Fi router as close as possible and um, uh, because I, I I've noticed that the further away you will get uh, jitters you will you will get some some artifacts uh, in the video so you want to place the tuner as close to your Wi-Fi router as possible um, and then as far as that you're going to use your um, your home Wi-Fi your router's Wi-Fi to get to all the other devices in the, in your home um, this is a good device I really like you guys it does what it says it's going to do um, it takes a little takes a second or two to bring in that channel uh, but once it's when it's once it uh, it you know once it tune into that channel it's up and running you don't got anything to worry about um, and again I again you I don't know if you can tell the clarity of this through this uh, through my camera but this is crystal clear as if I was uh, you know watching uh, TV you know uh, with a coax cable connected to the TV hard line so this is really really good device oh uh, really really big uh, uh, part you should notice take note of um, this is a one tuner device so you can only watch one device at one time um, so if I try to uh, if I try to open up this device right here and watch it so let's see here um, and we'll get a uh, let's go see if we can go to live TV okay and we should get a message saying uh, what's that message okay let's say in use by iPad okay so it will only stream uh, one device at a time. Um, I'm pretty sure they're probably going to come out with a uh, with a, 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 a another tuner later on in the future uh, with multiple tuners on it. Um, but for right now, we only have one tuner in this device, and uh, it works. It works good. It works good. So uh, I can't wait till they come out with uh, with the with their next uh, the next model. It's definitely probably going to be work just as fine and and, and have uh, more tuners so you can watch uh, stream more devices with it. So, but yeah, for as far as I can tell right now, this works just fine, no problems. I like the fact that you can just swipe over and change the channel, um, and then you have it on something that's that's as small as this, you know, an, an iPad or a tablet. Uh, definitely good to go. All right, guys, so uh, any questions or comments, uh, leave them down below. Um, thank you guys for staying tuned. Um, oh, also, I'm going to, um, I, I, I need to show you guys what it looks like on, on the Roku, too. So before I bow, let me uh, show you guys what it looks like on the Roku. Uh, it's very, very easy to use on your Roku. Um, and I, I can say that Antennas Direct, they, uh, they really... Uh, did the homework on this one the device works very well and here it is on my Roku this is the Roku 2 uh, stick this is the uh, second generation stick on the Roku and uh, it works flawlessly on this as well I'm gonna go down here and um, I this is what the channel looks like it looks the same way as the application does so I'm gonna go ahead and click into it um, let me see if I got my volume all the way down here. And so these are my channels. Uh, let's go to live TV. Okay. Um, and let's see if let's see if we do. Um, uh, I'm sorry, live TV. I'm just phasing out here for a second. Takes a few seconds. live TV comes up now this is through my Roku device this is the fire stick it works just it works even even better if you have a, um, a Roku device that's hardwired through your Ethernet 
uh, it's an immediate but with the fire stick it takes a couple seconds for the clarity to come in um, but after that uh, after it gets up to you know a couple seconds uh, the full 1080p clarity comes in and you you're watching streaming over the air through your Roku device so this device pairs wonderfully with Roku or a fire TV stick um, so it'll work just to, just the same with the fire TV stick so and uh, let me see if I can turn it down just a little bit more here and let's bring up some more channels here no problem at all oh, and also too I want to show you guys what the, what an older channel looks like uh, right now I've just been pulling up the uh, high definition channels um, this is just one of those channels this is well, this is not a high definition channel. I mean, this is a high definition channel, but the show isn't high definition. When this movie is playing right now, it, when it was made, is uh, shot in standard definition. So, um, let's see if we can find uh, different. Uh, so, let's go through. Yeah, it's totally, totally cool. KCE TV. So, again, over the air TV through the Roku player using the Clearstream TV. Uh, really nice, guys. Really nice. Really nice. So. Yeah, just a couple seconds here, and then boom, we're back up and running. Live TV. So, again, guys, you can't go wrong with this device. It works just just fine. So, in conclusion, guys, I would say, in my opinion, this is a really good device. It does what it says it's going to do. Um, you just have to be a little patient with it, um, give it some time to uh, tune into the, ch the channels when you change channels. Um, but definitely this is a definitely win right here. So um, thank you guys for staying tuned. Um, again, you know, if you have any questions or any comments, put them, put them down below. And I definitely, if I find any more interesting uh, devices like this or anything that can help uh, cord cutting easier or help people save money, I definitely will be bringing it up on this channel. So uh, until next time, uh, take care and stay tuned. Bye.